I, I had this email from uh, a, a Facebook friend, actually, Facebook message it was, um, and he's a nurse, uh, a male nurse who's also a, an amateur magician, and he, and he basically kind of really sort of stirred me. He said, um, just to let you know, Paul, that um, a lot of healthcare professionals are behind what you're saying and doing. Uh, he said, I've seen so many old people who've been scammed by these expletives. Uh, he said there was an old lady recently uh, and she'd been diagnosed with, with terminal cancer, it was inoperable and she knew she was going to die soon and I was sat there and she took my hand and she burst into tears and I said what's wrong and she said I've been so stupid, my, my entire life I've worked so hard to save some money uh, to, to leave to my children and now I've gone and wasted it all on these people and she was talking about medium she'd realized that it was a con it was a scam and he said as she said this she started crying I started crying and she died in my arms so I want you to know Paul that we stand up for what you're doing and that gave me a real boost I'm not trying to be any kind of hero about it but I just find that in the media in in general uh, no one stands up and goes, hang on a minute, this is nonsense, you know. Everybody goes, oh yeah, they'll, they'll take the mickey out of, uh, you know, some on-stage psychic. The papers will occasionally run a story when one gets caught out. But in the main, people just let it go by because they're either frightened of, of legal action or they don't care. And I just feel that people have to stand up and be counted occasionally and go, no, sorry, I'm not having this. It's, it's absolute exploitative nonsense.